There's a new hat in the ring in the battle to replace Senator Rob Portman next year. Senator, State Senator Matt Dolan entered the crowded field of Republicans seeking to fill that seat. Yeah, Dolan's first stop after launching his bid. Right here at News 5, he sat down with our John Kosick. In mid-July, State Senator Matt Dolan launched a cross-state listening tour to see if there was enough support for him to launch a bid for the U.S. Senate. Nine weeks later, he says there was, and so on this day, he did. First thing I heard is I can win, uh, and I can win because the message of what my positive experience, results-oriented experience, resonated with people, that my issues of focusing on the economy, low taxes, less regulation, uh, resonated. Dolan enters a crowded field of hopefuls, each making their own case to President Trump in an effort to win over his supporters. Where Dolan is running is more of a traditional conservative Republican, one he said would support the infrastructure package that the others in the race have denounced. I don't know how any of my opponents can stand in Cincinnati, can stand in Appalachia, can stand right here in Cleveland and say they represent Ohio when they are adamantly against much needed economic development infrastructure dollars. If you had been in the Senate earlier this year, would, would you have voted to impeach the president? I would not have. If he runs in 2024, would you support him? In that if he's race? the Republican nominee, I would. You will share potentially a ballot with Governor Mike DeWine. Do you support DeWine in his reelection bid? Yeah. I think Governor DeWine and I have a great working relationship. We haven't always agreed on what uh, the end result would be. But at the end of the day, Governor DeWine and John Hughes said, have run the state in a conservative manner. Not always agree in agreement, but that's not always to be expected uh, in a contentious issue uh, like politics. In Cleveland, John Kasich, News 5. And those other hopefuls John mentioned, on the Republican side, former Ohio Treasurer Josh Mandel, former Chair of the Ohio GOP Jane Timken, and businessmen J.D. Vance, Bernie Moreno, and Mike Gibbons. There are two Democrats running for Portman Senate seat as well, Congressman Tim Ryan and Attorney Morgan Harper.